going on? Listen, collard greens is my favorite greens. I love them so much more than the turnips or the mustard greens. So I'm always trying to think about different ways of preparing. So y'all stay with me on this ride as I turn my collard greens into creamy collard greens. Y'all stay with me and check this out. Okay, I got my beautiful, pretty collard greens, and I want to show you how I uh, pull the stems out. I typically like fold them right down the stems and give a little press, and then just pull out the stems. My grandmother, you know, they used to do what they call picking them, um, but I, someone showed me this and it's worked great for me to get the whole stem out. And so I've already done some, but I just wanted to share with you guys how I get my stems out. So what we're gonna do, because we're gonna uh, boil these collard greens, they're actually, uh, I got water already on the stove, but I'm doing something different. Like I like to take these collards like this and, and you can either lay them all out like this. And then I take them and I basically roll them like a cigar. Like that. And once I get them like that, then I like to cut what I call ribbons. So I just, little ribbons. Okay, just about done. Nice little Thin ribbons, just like so. I got my um, pot of water on the stove on the back. I'm going to boil these for about 10 minutes. Um, a good hot pot of, uh, of uh, salted water. Okay, so now what we're gonna do now, y'all, is uh, melt our butter. I'm gonna add my garlic and shallots to the pot and saute those a bit. And then we'll dump in my heavy cream. And I forgot, uh, because I was so busy telling y'all about the collard greens, my ingredients are, I've got one shallot, three chopped garlic, um, cloves. Oh, this is about three tablespoons of butter. And um, I've got, a, I think it's about a cup and a half of heavy cream. So we're going to work our butter around. And it's hot. I saved it, y'all. It was about to burn on me. And then we're going to add our onions and garlic and I like a shallot it's a little bit sweeter of an onion um, and will give me the flavor and texture I'm looking for so I'll come with my little pepper and my salt and we're just gonna work these around it doesn't take long maybe a minute and a half while we're doing this I've already um, if I, if, I can't remember if I told you guys but I got my greens already boiled and they're gonna boil for about 15 minutes. All right, so this didn't take long at all and you wanna make sure that you don't burn your garlic. So I'm gonna go right in with my heavy cream. And we want this to just simmer and reduce. So we're gonna bring it up to a bowl and we want it to reduce to about half of its quantity. Okay, I'm back. I got my, my greens have been drained and we just wanna put these in in batches in our heavy cream. It's reduced down nicely. Maybe stir a little and then we add a little more. And I'll put the green 
needs to be absorbed in the cream sauce. We're getting there. It's got great texture. It's just right. Not too runny, yet not too thick because we still gotta add um, our Parmesan. So I got about a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese uh, that is freshly grated. It's been just grated. Uh, I'm gonna add a little pepper and salt to this, uh, just to wake it up a little bit. And I am going to, we want it to thicken up just a bit, but um, this cheese is gonna help. So this is freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Like I said, it's, it's your call on how much I normally like to start off with a quarter of a cup and then um, gauge the texture. Like it's still a little runny, but it's gonna cook still a little more. Um, but I'll just add a little more Parmesan. So when you're doing a dish like this, it really needs something to go with it. As this cooks, it will thicken up. So we're just gonna leave it alone, let it do its thing. Leave it alone, Pat. It's doing all right by itself. I mean, you keep messing with it. Okay, so now, I got some fresh bread from my bakery and their baguettes. And uh, I turned my oven on 350 degrees. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some olive oil in my little bowl here, a little hit of so uh, pepper, salt, and I'm going to add just a pinch of red pepper flakes. Give this a nice little stir, and I'm going to brush my baguettes. I'm going to pop these babies in the oven for probably about 10 minutes or so until they become brown and crispy. All right, y'all. As I like to say in my kitchen, it is showtime. As you can see, the cream thickened up beautifully. So we're just going to take it and put it right into our serving bowl. This is a great dish, like if you got guests over and you want a little appetizer before dinner, um, I'm sure you could also have it as an additional side item. Uh, however you want, you do what you want to do. All right, so now, I just want to top it off with just a little bit more of the Parmesan. It just, y'all, I, I love Parmesan. So we just take a little of this right across the top. You know, it can even hit a little of the bread if you like. So however you want to do it. Oh yeah. Uh-huh, I like that. I like that. Oh yes. I tell y'all, another great dish. And adding the baguettes, I think is what really makes the dish. So I got to give a little taste here. I don't even know where to begin. This one looks okay. So what I like to do, I'm a country boy at heart, y'all. I just take a little of this and go right on the top. Mm. Oh my goodness. When I tell y'all, unbelievable for an eve or early appetizer before the meal, you can't lose with this one. Listen guys, I enjoy sharing my dishes with you. I thank you so much for following me and, and, and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, 
hit that subscribe button at the end of this video. Uh, be sure to leave your comments. And as I always say, tell a friend to tell another friend. <laughs>